Wednesday the 26th of September and today's boot camp. So it's a quick breakfast this morning of two hard boiled eggs and two easy peelers. I've already drunk one of my Hydromates and had a, two coffees. So um, I'm gonna have this and then head off over to boot camp. Hello. Um, so it's Wednesday and you've seen my breakfast. Um, so I've been to boot camp this morning and I've, uh, yeah, I've had a shower. I haven't washed my hair because it's like, that's why it looks a mess. <laughs> I'm going to do it tomorrow because I've got boot camp first thing in the morning, um, which I have heard it's very cold now at six o'clock in the morning, so I'm not looking forward to that. I think going forward from next week, I'm going to do Sunday's um, boot camp. Um, so I've just made myself a coffee, so I should have eaten my eaten something by now because I finished boot camp at quarter past and I get back, back at half past ten. Um, it's gone half twelve, I've been faffing around, doing stuff, and I really should have eaten something. So I'm just waiting for my lunch to cool off. It's baking hot. <laughs> um, and I'm doing an SP day. So the reason I'm doing an SP day will all be revealed. Um, so yesterday I posted my video up um, about what I eat in a day. And I was busy faffing around. And I then completely forgot... And by this time, the video is pretty much loaded up. Um, I completely forgot I um, had some chocolate at my friend's. It was the Lindor chocolate balls, which are four sins. And at the time, I didn't really think about it because I thought I had plenty of sins. It was fine. I was having a small glass of wine with the lemonade, which was unfortunately not sugar free. I should have bought my own. Um, but I've had one of the Lindor balls. I also had half of one because I went to eat one and Ralph literally was like, oh yeah, I like that mummy and I literally ate most of it. So I'm, I'm saying six sins. So when I got home, I sort of worked out the sins for the wine and everything and the lemonade, but I completely forgot about the chocolate. And then later on, as this video was loading, I then realized. Um, and then I found some sweets. I found the Moams sweets which are the little flat ones oh, they do different ones but these are the flat chewy ones in little packets and i think they're two sins for the little ones um and i found three and i ate them i mean i've got loads of sweets in the cupboard why i just did that because i just thought i've gone off already i've gone over my sins i'm like so that's another 12 sins and that was all so it's like it's fine it's fine i just feel I had to do a video today because I wasn't going to do one because if you've watched my channel for a while you will know Wednesdays are a little bit crazy with school pickup, nursery pickup, swimming, back for dinner, dinner, cook dinner or warm dinner up then I'm out to work so it's a bit crazy on Wednesdays so I tried to avoid doing a video um, or I might do a recipe but I try not to do what I, what I eat in a day just because I find it a bit too much. But I'm going to do it today because I want to try and stay on track. And the reason I am talking about it today was because my channel's honest. It's about being honest. Um, however, the ironic thing was I put together a little chatty video um, yesterday afternoon. And it was about YouTube and it was about the other thing. The YouTube bit was just about how YouTube works and it was about the ads and everything and how... I'm not bothered by the ads at all. Don't bother it, me. When people get to 1,000 subscribers, they have the option. And at the end of the day, YouTube is a business. They make money from it. The person whose channel um, monetizes it, they make pennies from it. Um, and YouTube are a business at the end of the day. If you don't like it, just swipe, you know, skip the ad after a few seconds. But there is an option now to purchase it's quite expensive per month to go ad free and you get also lots of other benefits as well um but that is an option you can try it for a month i think as well i keep getting a little pop-up but i'm not interested because yeah i don't really want to spend that a month on it but you could always try it if you want to if you find the ads a bit annoying and it was just about channel content and everything and i think a lot of pe people may understand what i'm talking about because the video's got out and people have been upset by it and i just want to say my channel is primarily slimming world it will always remain primarily slim slimming world that's why i created it um however i do do other stuff and i'm enjoying doing other stuff i am doing shopping hauls um 
you know, it's very rare that I would go out and buy loads of clothes at once, but I am doing them as and when, and I'm also going to do, you know, cleaning now and again. I like doing it. I have had really good feedback from people. Um, and if you don't like it, that is fine. I'm not offended. Just come to the next video um, that, you know, comes up. And same as I go and watch other people's channels and some things like when they do reviews or they do something completely different might not be relevant to me, so I might ignore it. But some things I do think, well, actually, that is relevant to my life. Um, my my video, my channel is about my lifestyle. It isn't just Slim World, but Slim World is a massive part of it and it's helping me get to where I want to be. Um, and Slim World will always be part of my life. I can't see me ever going back I've learned I've had to learn from too many mistakes of going ever going back to eating normally like how I did before and even though I said I have said previously I've always eaten fairly healthy it was all the little habits that wasn't healthy so I don't want to go back I'm all my big clothes are going or they've gone already any anything that's too big will go straight away I have a literally you've probably seen it when I've done um, try-ons and things like that but in my bedroom it's a big pile next to my bed of basic stuff that I need to sell or sort out for the charity shop um, most charity shop stuff does get straight away goes to the charity shop or I pass it to friends but I have got a big pile of stuff that I want to sell because I might get something for it and that will help towards going to buy new clothes um, I have got lots of clothes that um, are smaller fit that do now fit um, so I have saved money that way um, but there's also lots of clothes that I don't like anymore I don't like the style doesn't really suit me um, my tastes have changed massively because it's been a long time since I've worn clothes that are a size sort of 12 10 so that you know that is you know what that pile of clothes in the corner is for um, so yeah, well, I, that was my YouTube discussion. That was about the channel and everything, and that's why I wanted want to talk about it. It was a lot more long-winded, but I just felt uncomfortable putting it out there because I just thought, I don't think I need to raise this. Like, I just wanted to explain my channel, wanted to explain how YouTube works, um, because we are very, very lucky. We have a platform on, you know, on social media, a platform that is full of information, full of inspiration, whether that be you're doing a DIY project like this extension. This extension was pretty mainly built using YouTube videos from my other half. And it's been up for a fair few years now, a couple of years, or well, maybe more actually, and it's still standing. Um, so, you know, obviously we have regulation things like that we have to follow, but yeah. So you can use YouTube how to, how to cut your hair, how to style your hair, how to cut, you know, to do your nails, how to do your eyebrows, how to do your flicks, recipes. It is, there is something for everyone. And that's what I was just trying to explain. That is the, at the end of their YouTube business, if they didn't offer this monetization and do adverts, if they didn't offer this where you could pay monthly now and have advert free, they, there wouldn't be any YouTube. So that's what I was trying to explain. Anyway, ignore that, I'm waffling. Um, the other reason was because I did a video, in my video, in my little chat, which I didn't put up because the first thing didn't sit well and I just felt like, don't need to explain that, but I've explained it now anyway. <laughs> I'm waffling again. Um, was basically me saying how I'm loving the plan. Um, I, even though I don't see it as a plan, I see it as a lifestyle, but it's just easy to explain it as a plan. Um, since SlimCon, I've been on it, I've focused, I feel like I'm in control, and I am in control. But, yeah, I had to be honest about this this chocolate, these sweets and everything, because if I'm not, then I'm not being honest on my channel. So that's why I'm doing a Wednesday. Why in a day? And a little chat as well at the same time. Um, so what the other thing about my channel is I'm going to do some recipes. Um... But what else is there that you enjoy? Like, if it, even if it's non-slimming world related, what else is it that you enjoy? Um, is there any recipes you want me to post up? I'm going to be posting up the stew recipe. I just need to put it together. And I'm also going to be posting up, which I had in yesterday's video, and also the Cornish pasty style thing, um, which will go up probably tomorrow now. Just if I get time to do it tonight, I will. Um, but anything else, let me know. And I will, um, any other recipes or anything you want me to do um so that's what i was gonna have a little chat about i am going to show you what i eat in a day but i'm probably not going to have time to sit down and have another chat or yeah 
because Wednesdays are crazy. Um, I'm going to do an SP day. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, but I'm doing an SP day because it will help with the bloat. I'm feeling really bloated, which is probably partly the sugar. I had the wine yesterday, which wine always bloats me. That's why I don't really drink it that often. But also I think Star Week might be looming and also the stew as well that um, has the barley in. Barley always, I think I have an intolerance to barley along with wheat and milk, oats, rye. Yeah, I've been tested ages ago. Um, there's lots, there's a long list. Um, so barley is one of those. I think that is what just makes me bloated. So I think it's a mixture of everything. So I'm going to do an SP day to hopefully eliminate any bloating. Um, even though that some of the SP, the healthy extras will have wheat in, it does seem to help. Um, so yes, that's what I plan to do um, and hopefully eliminate any further damage. If I get a maintain on Friday, I will be fairly happy with that. If I get a loss, I'll be ecstatic, um, even if it's half a pound. But I'm feeling, I am feeling really focused. I don't know what happened yesterday. I think it was just because I remembered that the chocolate. Um, I then, and then found the sweets. I just felt like I had to eat them. I don't know. Maybe it's because Star Week's looming. Um, my cravings start to go into overdrive and I want to eat everything. And maybe that's just what happened. It kicked in. Um, but yeah. I just want to be honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I think my dinner, my lunch should be cooled down. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have a leftover pasty. Um, so as I said, I will get a video up of that and I'm going to serve it with some salad. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. So here is my lunch. Sorry, it's not that exciting because I showed it the other day, but it's the Cornish pasty, which has got the pork um, mince inside with some speedy carrots, onion and celery. And I've also got um, a tablespoon of the 50% sugar reduced sugar and salt from Heinz which is two oh sorry half a sin for two tablespoons and then I've also got a tablespoon of lighter than light mayo for half a sin so that's one sin in total with lots with lots of speedy salad as well I'm ready to go and do the school pickup shortly so I'm going to have this before I go it's a pear and an easy peeler which are both speed so it's half five now and I'm nearly ready to get ready to go to work. I've got a boiled egg, which I'm going to have now. I also ate a third of a hi-fi bar, which I found in my bag. Um, I was getting a bit peckish and I found it and then well, I've had the best of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to allow one sin for that and then the egg is a protein. So this is my dinner tonight. It's still only half five. Um, I'm just preparing it ready for when I get in. I've got a massive bowl of spinach underneath there. And on top of it, I've done like a little salsa salad with some chickpeas, onions, yellow peppers, celery, cucumber, tomato. And I've seasoned it with um, some of the seven Thai spice. I'm just going to serve it with a, a chicken breast, which has been seasoned with the chimichurri rub from Spice and Tice. Here is the rub. Let me just get it for you. That's the rub. And I use it in lots. It's brilliant. Um, it's just great, great to season any sort of meat vegetables fish whatever it's really nice um so i'm gonna have this and i'm gonna put the chicken on the top i will show you um once it's been cooked i'm just relying on darren to finish up the chicken for me so hopefully he won't forget um but yeah this is what i'm gonna have for dinner tonight and here is my dinner um the chicken came out really well and it tasted really nice um with the salad so i'll definitely be making this again um so that's a uh, really good sp dinner i then had um some quark with, which i mixed with an options orange for two sins and um, it's a chocolate orange and i topped it with my two hi-fi bars which my healthy extra beef for today um if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and i shall speak to you all very soon take care bye